Can you hear me? Yeah? You want to be a ninja like me, dress all black, shoot a GR3. <laughs> Welcome to Hakata Fukuoka. I'm here today with my Ricoh GR3. I love this camera, it's really great. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why I like it so much. I'm gonna tell you the who, what, when, where, why, and how. This camera is good for you, for anyone in 2021. Let's go. I forgot my ring today. My ring fell off. I'm so pissed. <laughs> it, the ring never falls off usually. This is the first time the ring has ever fallen off. Sorry, people in the comments. <laughs> Who's this camera good for? Honestly, I think it's good for everybody if you approach it in the right way. I think some people maybe want to try to compare this camera to the X100V, and it's a fair comparison, but I still think that they are two different cameras for do two different styles of shooting. And I feel like uh, this camera is good kind of always. It's kind of always good to take out anywhere you go. If you're traveling, if you're coming to Japan after the coronavirus is over, this is the kind of camera that you can definitely take with you. This is my bag situation for the day. I got my GR3 right here, easy. Got my M2 right here. Pull that out when I see something really nice. And the GR3 is just like the least of uh, you know concern when it comes to taking it with me for the day. It's, it's more worry-free, it's, it's a snapshot camera. It's, it's something that you don't really have to uh, think too much about using. You can kind of enjoy the environment, enjoy who you're with, enjoy where you're at, and kind of just forget about the camera, just kind of snap, snap, snap away. You know, that's, that's I think, the, the mindset you have to have when you're using this camera. It doesn't have a, uh, a viewfinder eyepiece, it's just an LCD display. It's a wide angle lens, so you're kind of capturing everything. So today, hello, hi, 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 Alex. And I'm, I'm finding that because I'm not attaching my body to the camera mm -hmm. physically with my head to, to the camera, I'm able to position my wrists mm. and my hands in different ways to get different angles and different shots and everything. Cool, so what's this camera good for? This camera is good for giving more context to your photos. Uh, I think a lot of people like to shoot more telephoto, more 50 millimeter. Um, shallow depth of field and all that kind of stuff. This camera is not really for that. This camera is not for like, you know, shooting wide open. It's kind of to shoot to, you know, get context in your photos. So you have these buildings here, you have this escalator here, you know, you want to take a, a shot of somebody, but you also want to get context of where you're at. You don't want to just blow out the background. You need to think about more things when it comes to making Borkalicious photos people don't know where you're at. You're like, yeah, you're in Japan, but where are you in Japan? Are you in Shibuya, Shinjuku, Fukuoka, you know? With this camera, you're always gonna know where you're at because you can see the environment. About this lens, the 28 millimeter lens, it is a very sharp lens, wide open at f2.8 and stop down all the way to like f11. It's very, very sharp corner to corner, in my experience. And I think that's really helpful. So. If I wanted to get a shot of this building right here, and then I crop in later in post, I think uh, I'm gonna get a lot of sharpness here. So I'll crop in so you can see. What do you think? Sharp enough? I think so. It is only f2.8, I say only f2.8, but at the same time, I mean, just look how thin, look how small this is, you know what I mean? There's a, there's a trade-off, right? <laughs> what? Uh, what? 
Wo zur Hölle bin ich? Was? Wait a minute. I can speak German? I think I'm Samuel. Oh, I mean, of course I'm Samuel. Um, so Samuel is here to, I mean, I, I'm here to talk to you about the GR3, share my experience, uh, what I like about it. So since day one, this camera has been living in my jacket pocket and it's just nice to have a small camera that is, you know, sharp and brings you the quality that enables you to even print the photos and hang it on the wall. So that's nice. But I do, however, use other cameras. I have another Leica camera and Fuji cameras as well. So I think for everyone who has a main camera, this could be a good second camera. But there are also people who use this as, a, as the main camera. Uh, shout out to Christian Cross from London. He does amazing work uh, almost on a daily basis because he's posting photos very frequently. But he uses the GS3 mainly. Uh, what else do I like? I like the stabilization, the IBIS, because especially in low light, like here I'm living in the countryside now, but when the light is very good, I can use the GS3 to take some landscapes because I can go down on the shutter speed. Like I can go down to one fourth of a second and still get sharp photos. Um, I really like the colors. I don't know what else to say. I mean, any downsides? The AF is a little slow. I would love Ricoh to upgrade the AF motor, 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 I'm German, <laughs> and uh, maybe give us a flip-up screen. But other than that, I'm really happy. Yeah, if the GS3 would be a little bit more snappy, then that would be awesome. But yeah, I'm pretty happy and... Uh, no, Samuel, I don't want to go, no! <laughs> Accessing the main frame. Hey Alex, how's it going man? I heard you were doing a review on the GR3, so I thought I'd drop in, hijack your channel for a bit, and share some of my thoughts on the camera as well. In my opinion, I think the GR3 is the best camera for street photography. Its size allows me to carry it everywhere I go, and that means I'm ready to shoot whenever I want to. It's small enough to fit anywhere, bags, pockets, you're just always locked and loaded with the GR3. On top of that, the GR3 has a function that I just can't live without, and that's snap focus. Having the snap focus function essentially allows me to shoot the same way that I do with my Leica rangefinder cameras. I can zone focus to a specific distance and nail focus easily in a fast paced situation. It's the only digital camera I know of that has this function, and it's brilliant. When using Fujifilm cameras, I find myself always wanting a better manual focus system. And while I love my Leicas, like you do, I do find that I shoot a lot slower and I get spotted a lot more often with them. The GR3 is stealthy, inconspicuous, and it gives me the speed and accuracy that I need for street photography. That's all for me, man. I'll let you have your channel back now. See you later. How <laughs> was that? When it comes to autofocus about this camera here, I would say that uh, single focus is fine. Snap focus is always great. But a lot of people don't really talk about the tracking. This little icon right there, and so you can see it does track quite well. So you wanna, if you wanna get your target and you wanna recompose, you can get your target and then you can recompose like that. Or you, want, you can track somebody coming, somebody's coming there. Let's track them all the way that far. It's pretty good. This attachment right here, JJC TA GR3. I don't think I could uh, stand using this camera without this thumb grip right here. So I think this is essential. Get this definitely with the camera right away. It doesn't really add too much uh, to the body. Just a little bit right there. And actually I find it's really great because if you put it down somewhere, then what happens is it'll rest more on the, uh, on the thumb grip right here to where it's not touching the, the, the display. You're not gonna damage the display when you put it down. So it's kind of good for protection too. Get the thumb rest, get it. Buy it, buy it. It's only, it's cheap. It's like 10, 20 bucks or something like that. Thank you.
<laughs> I'll usually set to set to F8 and um, aperture priority. Uh, I try to do my minimum shutter speed at 250, auto ISO, and then I'll do exposure compensation right here with this uh, switch. So you can see with this, I can uh, pull up the shadows, get the highlights, all from, all from here. So I don't really adjust my aperture too much if it's the daytime. I usually shoot black and white with this camera too as well. I try to focus on high contrast scenes with this, uh, good shadow and light. I also use uh, highlight weighted metering most of the time, which I love. There, here's the metering modes, right? You got multi-segment, center weighted, spot, highlight weighted. And I don't find this in many other cameras, but it's just, it's so great because it protects your highlights. If you're, if you're somebody who likes the protecting the highlights look, then this is awesome. Boom, nothing's lost, no data is lost. Too much, nothing too much, right? So, I, this, is, this is one of the things that's, uh, the point about this camera is it's like how carefree it is to shoot. It's almost too easy to shoot with this camera. It's kind of brainless almost. It's like once you set it up, once you learn how to use the camera and how, what the camera can and can't do, then boom, you're, just, you're ready to go. You just shoot, shoot, shoot and you look at your photos later. I, I don't really chimp with this camera too much either because it's, I'm, I'm always in the moment with this. So yeah, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of liberating. Compared to shooting film, shooting my M2, where it's just like so much uh, mental capacity I'm using, and uh, worrying about my exposure triangle and oh, should I be, you know, what aperture should I be at and what, what, uh, what's my shutter speed and oh, let me, let me change this, let me do that. And so, I mean, I, I love shooting film and I love the experience of this uh, and I love the results, but um, I'm gonna shoot this uh, more focused. I'm gonna be more focused when I shoot this and slower and I don't wanna waste my film, right? So at that point, I'm. I'm using my GR as a supplement to those kind of fleeting moments, those moments where I want to capture something that lasts only a second and uh, not use up all my film for the day, you know? But I want to talk about that more at uh, this one spot that I like. Now, um. I love how discreet this camera is sometimes. It's like, it's so small. Nobody really cares too much that you have a, a camera. Especially these days, like, everybody sees, oh wow, you have a camera on the street and everybody looks at you. But when you have this camera, it kind of flies under everybody's radar. It's really low key. It kind of looks like a smartphone. If you're just looking at it like this, and you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just kind of looks like you have a smartphone. It doesn't look like you have a camera. Was that a ninja?
Okay, so how I use this camera a lot uh, is when I'm shooting film. If I'm intending to shoot film for the day, I'll still bring my GR3 and I'll have it in hand and I'll be taking shots and kind of seeing, you know, what looks good in this camera before I shoot it on this one. For example, this scene right here, uh, I really love this. I captured this recently, uh, not today, but I was here a few weeks ago and uh, with my Leica M2, I was able to get this shot here that you can see right now. And uh, I had to wait for the right lighting, you know, I had to wait for the right lighting situation. But with my GR3, I was here one day and I took a shot here as a kind of like a visual note uh, for the future to come back to this spot and to shoot it on my M2. You don't always have to make like banger photos 100% of the time, you know, you don't have to like, you don't have to have so much high expectations for yourself, but to kind of like build up to creating a, a photo that you love. Uh, sometimes you have to take more than one photo. So one thing I don't like about the GR3, if I'm honest, is that the button placement here, I feel like it is a little bit cramped. I wouldn't mind actually if the camera itself was a little bit bigger, if the body was bigger. That way we can spread the buttons out a little bit more. Sometimes I spin this accidentally or I press this accidentally. It's just, it's a really small gripe. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm, it's really nitpicky and I don't know, there's not a lot of things that I find negative with this camera after having shot with it. And, you know, it's a, it's a camera that's, it's a, it's a tool. You know, like they, people always say cameras are, whoa, look at that car, look at that. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> oh, the flash. The flash uh, was on the GR1 and GR2, but they removed that on the GR3. It's not really that necessary for me with this camera, but it would be nice if I had it. The touchscreen could be a little bit more responsive. It could be a little bit more responsive. But one thing it does have now these days is, let me talk about this. We got, have. It's kind of, the menus, actually, I would say that I would like the menus to be improved. So the menus suck. The menus, yeah, the menus kind of suck. Yeah. Oh, touch AF. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, touch AF, you can go to full press snap for the screen. This is a new feature where you can just tap the display to take the shot where it does snap focus, see? I like that a lot, but that does kill the battery. Oh, that's a big negative, is the battery life. The battery life on this camera is not great. Um, you know, it depends how you're using it. If you're doing the snap focus with the display, you're really killing the battery. Depends how much you turn on and off the camera, um, the brightness setting on the display itself. Um, there's different things you can do to help your battery life, but overall the battery life is not great and you should definitely bring out your second battery with you. Okay, so the battery, the menus, oh yeah, and then the buttons. The buttons. What's that? Oh yeah, and then the flash. The flash. I wish, I wish the flash was still here. Those are the negatives. Okay, Yusuke. Okay. That's Tokyo. Please. Have fun. Yeah, this have is my first time to use GL. Nice. Even GL one, two, three. Really? Yeah. First time. First Wait. time. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'm actually out here on a separate night with the camera again. I have the ring now back on the camera. I actually had to buy a new one because I couldn't find my original one. So I was at home, I couldn't find it. 
I went on Amazon, I bought this new one from Hauga. It's the same exact thing. And uh, actually I'm noticing that this Hauga one, it stays on tighter. So maybe get that one if you lose your original. I'll put a link in the description for that. And also I wanna say a big thanks to my friend Samuel Lintaro for coming on the video with me. Also Ivan as well, thank you very much, super cool. And my friend Nuts Tokyo, Yusuke. All very cool, thank you guys for making your appearances. And of course my friend Alec, Alec Griffin, who's on the video camera today. So thanks a lot, I'll see you guys again. Uh, please like and subscribe. I wanna do more videos for the Ricoh GR3. So if there is anything that I didn't cover in this video that you wanna see more, leave it in the comments. I'll try to throw it in another video in the future because there's just so much, there's so much to say about a camera, doing a camera review. It's almost impossible, just, there's just so much. So uh, sorry if I didn't cover anything that you would like to see, but like I said, let me know and I'll, I'll make another video for you. Okay, and thank you very much. I'll see you again. Stay humble. Goodbye.